Okay, so this is going to be my little makeshift demonstration of how Hutchison can break up oil in water or oil floating on top of water because we all know that oil is thinner than water so it floats. And this is just a little home experiment and memories of an ode to Richard Feynman who wrote the book. <laughs> What do I care what other people think? So, and along the prospect of keep it simple, stupid. And now here I have some baking soda, some pure soybean oil and extra virgin olive oil, and some average everyday table salt, seeing as this is tap water. And the water in the Gulf of Mexico is salt water. We'll add a little bit of salt. And let's add some oil. Hopefully you can see that on the video, the oil floating on top there. A little bit more maybe, huh? It was a lot of oil, huh? So you can see it breaking up. And let's see if I take my little crochet hook here. It kind of just, yeah, it's, it's all bonded together there on top. And let's see there's waves in it and that makes the oil, the oil in olive oil. I think it was probably the so soybean oil that got coagulated when I added the baking soda to it. Now pretend this is the dispersant. The baking soda is the dispersant. So we just sprinkle a little bit on top of the oil here. <clears throat> And like magic, it's going to do something. It's going to separate the soybean oil from the olive oil. And then once you do that, it's going to seem like there's not as much oil floating on top because, well, you know, there's probably like half as much oil. I don't know what percentage soybean this is to virgin olive oil, but oh well. keep it simple stupid not to be sarcastic about the oil companies but as you can see the the top of it the baking soda seems to be doing something oh my goodness it's sinking to the bottom let's see but it doesn't look like there's much oil left on top here this is kind of a sheen that's the oil sheen <laughs> Maybe that's what's left. This. There was more soybean oil than olive oil. But look at this. If you look down inside, see how it coagulated? Now, if you take that and let's see, we'll make waves in the water. And the water moves around and it moves around and it moves around. And when it moves around, it stirs up everything on the bottom of the ocean. Oh my goodness, look, it's sticking together even better. Well, how about if I try to break that up, you know? I mean, maybe if I move. And you can kind of see the oil sheen just a little bit shiny on top there. The lighting in here isn't real good, obviously. You can kind of see just a little sheen of oil. Okay, let me put this back up here. Now you can see how it's sunk to the bottom and there's just a little bit of shiny, just a sheen on top of the oil. Now if I lift this out, put the camera up just a little bit here, you can see how it all sunk to the bottom. At least most of it, but not all of it. So what are they going to do with that? As much as I stir this up, I can't break it up. So maybe that's not too bad. Maybe what they can do is dredge the bottom. I thought you'd like to see that. But you can do a little kitchen witchery experiment at home. And I hope this makes up for some of that written homework I wasn't allowed to do when I went to school. But, you know, I did my homework. I just didn't get to the written homework. And I'm still not because this is a video. Thank you very much, and don't forget,
Reed, Richard Fenman. What do you care what other people think?